Bell, Bell Helicopter is no more. That's some of the surprising news coming out of the Helicopter Association International Convention this week in Las Vegas. Thousands of attendees take a gander at the latest and greatest in the rotorcraft world, and we learned that Bell Helicopter is now just called Bell. The new logo was plopped prominently on the nose of the equally new 407 GXI engine and avionics upgrades to the venerable 407. Bell changed its name because it's a technology company now, it says, not just a helicopter company. And survey says there's a demand for new helicopters, particularly light single engine turbine choppers. Honeywell's annual forecast shows that civil helicopter customers have a better long-term economic outlook this year, and that means they intend to buy new helicopters over the next five years. The survey found that over the next 12 months, the helicopter fleet utilization is expected to increase significantly in North America and modestly in Europe and Latin America. And one venerable helicopter model has a new home. It started life as the Hughes 300, then Schweitzer, and lately Sikorsky. And now the type certificate has been picked up by Schweitzer RSG, a new company affiliated with Rotorcraft Services Group in Texas. They're going to build the 300 in Fort Worth. And Airbus showed off the second H-160 prototype, a twin-engine medium-sized helicopter. It's reportedly the first helicopter to feature a full composite fuselage. Airbus also touts easy access, making maintenance easier. The rotorcraft is scheduled to hit the market in 2019. Airbus has something else in the pipeline, an all-electric, self-piloted, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. You might call it a passenger drone. The Vahana completed its first full-scale test flight late last month, flying itself for 53 seconds. It's being developed by Airbus's Silicon Valley Skunk Works. Airbus envisions a future where you'll call up the drone via an app and it will fly you to your destination by itself. They have a four-passenger version in the works too. But Bell isn't going to get caught napping in this brave new urban air taxi world. Back at Heli Expo, Bell displayed a cabin mock-up for its air taxi. It too would be an autonomous four-passenger flying machine. Bell says it's designing it from the cabin out. So nothing yet released publicly about what the so-called Bell Air Taxi would look like on the outside. 